So what are we here to talk about? Well, this is extremely secretive. Everything in here is. I'm buying a very big company. Oh, congrats. Which he said wouldn't cost us anything. This deal will make me the head of the largest agency in the entire entertainment business. You said it wouldn't cost us anything. Well, I didn't think that it would. He said the company was going to buy it. I thought that the company could, but it's been a rough year, so, you know. We're a little strapped for cash, but the bank has asked me to personally guarantee something. $12 million. I think it's great that you two have such open communication about your money. It's not our money. It's her money. Oh. And I just put up my money when we started this new agency, and that was over two years ago, and we still haven't gotten all of that money back yet. And that doesn't concern you, Ari? No, because we're going to make it back 50 times on this one. You don't see it this way. Even if I did, I, I don't see this as just about business. Is it about ego, Ari? Well, I've always dreamed about ruling the world, but now that I'm getting older, I would settle for ruling Hollywood. Oh, it goes much deeper than that. He's got enemies at this company he wants to buy. I have enemies everywhere. Who are these enemies? These are very personal conflicts. He wants payback, and I'm not sure he's thinking clearly. What? Tell me about these conflicts, Ari. They, they don't matter. Your wife seems to think they do. My wife doesn't know how I do my business. But you need her money in order to buy this business that you want. So why do you want it? For revenge. For a music department. For Terrence. For a book department that I can pair with filmmakers. And for Lloyd. For sports stars. Is it possible that these people are the reason you want to buy the agency? Yes, he wants to destroy them. Tell her. Tell her. Is it true? Do you want to destroy these people, Ari? OK, yes. If I could gouge out Terrence McEwick's eyeballs and eat them for what he did to me, I would. And I would sell that Benedict Arnold Adam Davies in a white slavery if we lived in a place that had a market for it. And Lloyd, that little queen, who I welcomed into my home and allowed to play with my children and care for my dog and who left me for those two scumbags, I would tie him up and allow the entire Screen Actors Guild to anally rape him, if not for the fact that I know he would enjoy it. I hate them all. And yes, I want to see them destroyed. But that is not why I want this company. I want, I, no, no, I need this company because it's good business. It's good goddamn business. And if I don't buy it, someone else will, and that will be very, very bad for my business. And my wife, of all people, should know that when it comes to business, my judgment is never clouded. So please, please, Support me like you always have, and I will deliver for us like I always have. What do you think? I think it was a good speech. Yeah. Do what you need to do, Ari. Really? I love you. <laughs> Can we fucking hear? It's me, bitches. <laughs> All right, where's Terrence? Conference room. I think where we did all of the time. Bowl is in reality. I'm sorry. Are you guys busy? What? What is this, Ari? Well, you made an unannounced popover today, and I wanted to return the favor. <laughs> this is not very discreet. I hate discretion. I want to put my cards on the table. Anyone want to see them? Everyone, get out. Quickly. So, you've reconsidered? I have, but not for a hundred. Well, do you have an offer? I do. What's this? It's a vagina. What does it look like? What's the meaning of this? It means that I'm amazed that it's taken you this long, but once again, you have let a vagina get you into trouble. What are you talking about, Ari? I think you know. You and I have always understood each other without saying too much. That's why we were so good together. But you fucked me, and now you fucked someone else, and now I'm gonna fuck you. I don't know what you think you know. Well, I know you got busted again, and I know you don't want to sell this company in the middle of an ugly divorce, especially with Melinda. She's tough. Melinda and I are great, thank you. How are you and Kelsey? Stupid bitch told you. Have you ever heard of a fucking prenup? Oh, you have one? I'd kill my wife before I got a divorce. 
And I'll tell you something, this is my first marriage, not my fourth. What do you want? I want to know if you want to make a deal. <laughs> not if you think you're going to lowball me, no. Everyone in this town is going to lowball you once they find out you're desperate. I'm not desperate. I just don't want to battle. 65. 85. That's my drop dead number. Not a dollar less. I don't care what you think you know. Otherwise, I'll open it up to bidding. And you'll open yourself up to humiliation. Don't you want to be on a beach somewhere when Nikki Fink starts flashing pictures of you trying to get your dick hard? I'll fuck Nikki Fink before I let her affect my business decisions. 85, Ari. I'll give you 75, provided that after I do my due diligence, I don't find out that you screwed up everything I did here. Yes or no? Have the papers drawn up. Ciao. Spona, wouldn't you like to know? Hey, Lloyd, if you're hiding somewhere, go deeper, because I will find you soon enough. <laughs>